Hello and welcome to this tutorial on clinical guidelines. Clinical guidelines or practice-based guidelines are evidence-based tools that compile the most recently updated information on treatment standards for different diseases or conditions. They're usually written by professional health organizations, so experts or healthcare professionals in a specific field. Since many different groups create clinical guidelines and because they can be published across a variety of different journals or across a variety of different websites, guidelines can be difficult to find. The PSA faculty would like students to search for guidelines in the following order. Google a guideline only if given the exact name of the source. This is called known item searching. Next, use the clinical guidelines research guide, which is organized by topic via the tabs at the top. Next, use Dynamed. So when you search for a specific topic in Dynamed, you will see at the bottom left that there is a link called Guidelines and Resources. Next, go to PubMed Medline. Then after you search for a topic, select the Practice Guidelines filter under Article Types. Let's go through some of these examples. Say that you're interested in looking for a guideline on diabetes, such as the American Diabetes Association guideline. If you know the exact name, you could search using Google, but you might get older additions in your search results. Be sure to look at the dates of your guidelines to make sure that you're finding relatively recent content. Or you could come to the Clinical Guidelines Research Guide page. You will see that there are a variety of tabs at the top and that it is organized alphabetically by topic. So if you go to the Diabetes tab in this case, you will see a group of links. The first link at the top called the American Diabetes Association Standards of Medical Care would be the most important. You would select the link and then select Standards of Medical Care at the top. This particular guideline is published every January, but small updates are made to the online version throughout the year. Each guideline publication cycle update is different. It could be either every year, every other year, every five years, or every 10 years. There is no consistency across publications. So next you could go to Dynamed and type in diabetes type 2 select type 2 in adults, diabetes mellitus type 2 in adults, And then you'll see at the bottom left, there is a link called Guidelines and Resources. If I select that link, there's a drop down, and then you'll see a link for guidelines. And then there's international guidelines, and as I scroll, there's United States guidelines next. And then there's the American Diabetes Association Standards of Medical Care and Diabetes. So here's the link to the full PDF. Dynamed also lists out the different sections within this particular guideline. When you have a topic that has multiple guidelines, you may have to scroll to find these guidelines. Now let's try searching PubMed. So for PubMed Medline, let's say I'm interested in the topic of delirium. So for my results list, on the left hand side, I'm going to look under article types and there are a few listed here, but I'm going to go to instead additional filters and under article types here, it's going to give me a longer list of possible options and I'm going to select practice guideline and then select show. And you'll notice that it shows practice guideline as an article type, but it actually hasn't applied it yet, so I have to select it one more time. Then you'll see a little blue check mark appear, a little white and blue check mark appear on the left hand side, and then it says filters applied. So now that we've decreased the number of results we have left, let's scroll through. One of the first results is from the American College of Critical Care Medicine and it was published in 2013. And then directly below that, we'll see updated and expanded version of this guideline from 2018. As we keep scrolling, we'll also see guidelines from a variety of different countries or groups of countries. We'll also see the American Geriatric Society guideline for post-op delirium in older adults. You'll see 
I think there's some German guidelines. There's also some Australian guidelines here. For the most part, you want to consider national U.S. organizational guidelines that are from specialized groups, but there is no hard and fast with these rules as not every topic will have a newer specialty-based U.S. organizational set of guidelines. Okay, so if you have any questions, please ask any of your PSA faculty members or your librarian. Thank you.